Hey everyone, I am CIQ and welcome to episode 21 of Sakura Angels. Last time when we left off, we had this uh, really depressing talk with Yuzuki. She just needed a hug or something. I mean, if probably if she gets a hug, she'll feel better and she won't want to kill us. But um, yeah, sorry about yesterday. My network wasn't working. Hope that problem doesn't appear ever again. Let's continue. Soaked to the bone, I squelch into the classroom. I didn't see Yuzuki on the way down, and she doesn't appear to be here either. So I have no idea where she might have vanished to. So I've lost her, and now I'm probably going to succumb to pneumonia. Great! Oh, what? Kenta? What happened? Oh, I guess Saika came to check up on me since I was taking too long to get to the cafeteria. I turned to meet her with a faint smile, my hair dripping wet. I, uh, if I tell her Yuzuki is here or that I went to confront her on my own, she might worry needlessly, so I'll keep it a secret for now. It's nothing to worry about, don't... <laughs> nothing? <laughs> Kent, you're completely drenched. <laughs> what were you doing? I had to go out to get something, but I was in too much of a rush to remember in my umbrella. Uh, I'll be fine, really. Uh, achoo! Okay, the sneeze is really doing me any favors. Come on, let's get you, uh, let's go get you all dried off. You're going to catch a cold at this rate. And Hikaru will flip if she, <laughs> will flip you if she sees you like this. Ah, true. I'm lucky it was Sayaka that found me first. I offer no resistance as Sayaka takes me by the wrist and guides me out of the classroom. She doesn't question me any further on this subject either, of which I'm thankful for. I'm almost dying in the rain. As, in the I'm almost dying in the rain aside. The rest of the school day goes by without much more happening. I catch no further sign of Yuzuki, though my headache lingers. I try to piece together everything Yuzuki had said. From what I can understand, she's doing this all because she wants friends. It doesn't make sense. How did she end up the way she is to begin with? And who is she? Who is this she? Yuzuki keeps referring to. Someone that is somehow linked to my headaches, and by extension, I can only assume she's the cause of the monsters and everything else that has been going weird lately in my life. Probably the, the person girl in the dreams we had at the beginning of the series. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check the first episode, you'll understand. Yuzuki also implied that Saika and Hikari know more than they're letting on, which I could tell already, but not to this extent. I want to question them about all this, but I'm sure I'll be met with the same silence. Ugh. Why is everyone so damn secretive? Secretive. Sorry about that. I feel like I'm the only person in the world left out of the loop right now. I keep to my thoughts on the wet journey home, and before long I find myself in my room gazing listlessly at the ceiling. The rain gradually dies down as the evening settles in. Things are finally calm, but for how long? Yuzuki's words are still repeating in my muddled mind. Something is going to happen tomorrow, something bad, and I have no idea what. I glimpse out of my window. The usual tent is there, I'll bite, I'll bite a little more wet than usual. I feel sorry for them having to camp out there in this sort of weather. Those two girls, they've got to know everything that I'm struggling to understand here. It's not fair that even though this entire situation supposedly revolves around me, I, some, I somehow know the least. I don't know if they're doing it to protect me or what, but I'm beginning to feel like it's too late for that. I continue to stare at the tent. It's not that late. So they might still be awake. Okay. Yeah. I've decided. I'm going to go down there and demand they explain everything to me. I have to make a stand and be assertive. No more secrets. No more games. Though this is a game. Okay. Breaking the fourth wall. Sorry about that. I'll refuse to leave them alone until they... Tell me all I need to know. I'll leave them no choice. So we're gonna go down and uh Oh my neck's hurting, sorry about that. Uh so we're gonna go down and ask them some questions, yes. Stealing myself, I slip on my shoes and sneak out into the garden. Yup, this is happening. I'm finally going to learn everything. I approach the tent, its entrance securely zipped. But that won't stop me. I know how these things work. I grab hold of the zip. No hesitate. I'm kind of hesitant right now because we're opening a tent which belongs to the girls and they're sleeping in there. Uh, no, nothing weird going on. Okay, let's continue. I'll, I'll give them 
no time to stop me. And then, in one swift motion, I unzip the tent's door. Okay, no more secrets. I want answers. I want them. Uh. Uh. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Surprise. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, no. I may have made a mistake here. Apparently, past experiences have taught me nothing. My jaw drops, and I find myself unable to put together any form of reply at the sight before me. That's some nice uh, interior you got there for your tent, those pink kind of flowery things, I guess. Upon opening the tent, I'm greeted by the pair of them and dressing in a space that looks far bigger on the inside than it does from the outside. Magic. Complete and other magic. A busy fragrance, dr uh, fragrance drifts forth from the tent and stirs my senses, rendering me more dazed than I already was before. My eyes are torn between the pair, unsure of where to settle as they flit between them. They're both so, uh, pleasing to the eyes. Wait, what? Unsure of where to settle as they flit between them. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not arguing anything right now. While well, both of them are clearly embarrassed, I only seem surprised about the whole ordeal. But I can see Hickory practically shaking with what I can only assume is rage. This... this isn't fair. How was I supposed to know? They do this stuff on purpose, I swear. Genta. Genta! Hickory barks, scrambling for something within their oddly spacious tent to cover herself with. R right, sorry, I was just... The right thing to do here would be to sit the tent back up to wait for them to get dressed, but all I can do is gawk, possibly making the situation worse than it should be. Curse my natural instincts, curse being a man. Crap. I can't help but look, it's what I'm programmed to do. Just what? Being a pervert? Because I can clearly see that. Oh god, I hope none of the neighbors can hear this. Uh, you got me all wrong, I just wanted to... She cuts me off. Naturally. Of course, I was never going to be allowed to explain myself. That's just not how it works with these girls. No more excuses. I let you off last time, but now? With a blanket covering most of her bare body, Hickory marches towards me with a scary expression all the while Saika stands by. Maybe we should hear him out. I'm sure he wouldn't just barge in here without a good reason. Uh, he had a good reason, alright. heard it once. No, Hickory, listen to her, I really do. She cracks her fist. Have mercy! Her fist flies and I soon see stars as I'm left flat on my back and gazing skywards within my garden. I was sprawled out for a good moment before Sayaka and Hickory approach me, now fully dressed. Why does everything have to be so damn difficult? <laughs> After explaining how I met Yuzuki the other day and what she had told me, it seems I finally convinced them to explain things. I led them to my room so we could more comfortably explain wait wait, 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 what? We just, we're just gonna let them into our room? Kenta, what? Okay, so we're just gonna get let, okay, after seeing these girls half naked, we were sure that we had to lead, lead, lead them to our room, okay. The tent was an option, but I have my bad memory, I have bad memories of that place now. Saika plops down into my bed and excitedly looks about the room while Hickory stands by the door, still angry about before. I'm sorry, Hickory, don't be mad. I said I was sorry. So, this is your room, huh? I've never seen it before. Oh, it's nice to finally be able to see it from the inside after spying on it all this time. Well, you're honest, Saika. I appreciate that. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. It's surprisingly neat. Okay, so are you guys finally going to tell me what the heck is going on? Hmm? I wonder what sort of things Kenta has saved on his computer. Saika reaches over and prods at my laptop. C guys, can we focus, please? Huh? Oh, right, yeah. Thank you. Saika sits up straight and takes on a serious expression, one that I wasn't even sure she was capable of. Okay. We were really gonna tell you, Kenta. It wasn't something we wanted to keep a secret. 
ってたから。We just thought we could handle things on our own before letting you in on it all. But as you've heard from that Yuzuki, time is running short now. Wow. ところでどうして今まで話してくれなかったわけ？彼女と二人きりで会うなんてどれほど危険かわかってるの？ Why do you have to get mad all the time, Ikari? Which, by the way, I still can't believe you didn't tell us about up until now. Do you realize how much danger you put yourself in when you went to face her alone? Ikari cuts in and sums her way across to join Sai, a fire in her eyes. See, this is why I didn't tell her anything. I know it was stupid, but it was the only way I could learn anything since you guys weren't being very helpful. That's. She falls silent. Guess I got her there. He has a good point, Hickory. Look at her face. Don't sight with him. You're supposed to be my partner. So all I hear is how time is running short. But why? What exactly will happen tomorrow? And we're gonna leave it off at that. If you want to know what's going to happen, watch the video tomorrow because yesterday was a bit of a problem, so there will be a video tomorrow. Yeah, make sure you watch it. Now, if you enjoyed anywhere throughout, make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you want to see me do more of these things. I saw something like Minecraft Adventure Mode or Story Mode. If you guys want me to play with that and take a look at that, just tell me in the comments down below. I'll I'm willing to take a look at that definitely because I like Minecraft too. Now,、uh, this was Sakura Angels. What happened this episode? We、uh, we kind of、uh, abruptly opened their tent door, door. Door? Is it really a tent door and a tent opening? I guess a tent zip door. Door. Whatever. Okay. So、uh, yeah, what's going to happen tomorrow? We'll have to wait and see. I think something.、Uh, I don't think we're gonna die. Hopefully. Maybe, yeah. Okay, this was Sakura Angels. I am CIQ, and I'm signing off. Thanks, you. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'm going to make. Take care, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.